What's going on guys, your Average Gamer back, and today I'm bringing you guys another gameplay commentary on the map Seatown from MW3. Uh, then I'll explain to you guys why I'm playing uh, MW3 and giving you guys a gameplay from that. Uh, just because I asked you guys, what do you guys want to see in the next uh, Call of Duty? And before I even... Uh, I know that you guys are kind of anticipating the, the winner of the giveaway, but... I'll make you guys wait a little bit, I'll make you guys wait towards the end of the, the video and I'll let you guys know. But since I asked you guys, what do you guys want out of the next Call of Duty? Like, what do you anticipate out of what is probably going to be uh, Modern Warfare uh, 4? And, you know, personally, that's the reason why I'm bringing this gameplay. Uh, I really enjoyed Modern Warfare 3. Uh, I think that's why, I know I haven't been streaming as much, but I've been playing a lot, getting uh, gameplays. And that way I could kind of just better my videos coming out to you guys. And what's also really cool about this game, why I really love it, is the fact that it has a theater system. So with theater, it allows me to play as much as I want, and I don't have to worry about the storage space. Because I actually am running out of space on my computer. Uh, when I record a gameplay, it takes like a 40 to 50 gigs. And it's a lot, lot, lot. So it's nice to have a theater system because it helps me manage my videos better allows me to just kind of keep playing and then whenever I want to record I have that but you know theater mode is it's not a must but it makes life a lot easier because then when you guys see videos from youtubers and stuff and people who live stream you don't you're not just seeing rips and I do apologize because I was doing that quite a bit but it's just so hard to play a game that frustrates you um, to the point where you guys see like the game doesn't have like this is one of the problems with Ghost, in my opinion, it just doesn't have enough game modes. There's really, you know, there's no capture the flag, There's so people resort to Blitz, and that's kind of like the Moab game type. It's not like Domination or anything. Uh, people still get, you know, Moabs and or Chems in Domination and all that stuff, but it's different, you know. It's just, I just don't feel that that game, you know, there's not many game types to play. Here, I feel like I could play pretty much anything. I could play the Team Tactical, I could play the Sabotage, I could play the Headquarters, which I probably will start doing. Um, I'll probably start venturing out and playing all this other stuff. Um, as you know, or as you may not know, what I tried to start doing was I started to start going on Prestige. So I'm hoping in the next Call of Duty that they release a set amount of Prestiges and they make it challenging. This is this In this game, it's really challenging to to hit another prestige level because it goes to 80 and I'm on double XP and it's still taking forever. Um, I forgot how, how long it takes to, to grind this game out but I kind of regret prestiging because then I am terrible without focus on a sniper. This is actually your, a game that I believe I was closing in on prestiging and I decided to use the L115. I've been using the MSR a lot and that brings me to my next topic, guns. So guns in the next game. I'm hoping that there will be an ACR like always, because you guys know how much I always talk about the ACR being my favorite gun. Uh, I would love to see the PP90 and the MP7 and the Intervention come back. Because the Intervention was a gun that I didn't really get to use because I didn't play much uh, Modern Warfare 2. So it'd be nice to, to finally use it and kind of hone those skills on that gun. Uh, because that was kind of like, like the makeshift gun for a lot of snipers. A lot of people got good at sniping from from using that gun and I kind of missed out on that. I started sniping in this game and you know it, this game was I feel by far a lot harder to snipe than Black Ops 2 and and Ghost because you get a lot more hit markers point blank in this game and it's ridiculous. Uh, I don't I don't even see that happen that much in Call of Duty Ghosts but this is a pretty beast gameplay and I'm not going to spoil it for you guys on how many kills I drop, but I do I do get quite a few deaths, but it's not anywhere as, you know, in the double digits. So, first and foremost. So, just to forewarn you guys. And this is I think this is probably one of the better parts of the, uh, the clip. But you'll see me get a lot of hit markers here, but I do finish off my targets while being one shot. Um, what else do I want to discuss? Oh, today. Uh, happy Easter to all of you guys. Um, you know, hopefully you guys are spending some time with your family, enjoying yourself, and today is actually my birthday, so I'll be spending time with uh, my family. We're going to do some egg painting, paint some eggs, and then I'm going to have dinner with my friends, so uh, the live stream may be back on later on tonight, just for a little bit, maybe playing some MW3, relaxing, hanging out with you guys, but uh, no, to further ado, I'm going to announce the winner, so Kevin Santina, uh, uh, he... 
I read through the comments and I read his comment and I, you know, he put a lot of thought into it. I really enjoyed it. Um, I think it's really on par to what I want in the next Call of Duty, so I decided to choose him as a winner. Uh, I didn't do it randomly this time and I, I got a really, really positive feedback on the last video and I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in. Uh, I can't believe a video that I posted up got over you know, 200 views in a given day. Uh, I wasn't sure if it was because it was a free-for-all sniper video or because Big Foltz liked it. So big shout-outs to Big Foltz. Thank you very much for checking out the video. Um, hopefully you check out some more. Uh, just And for all those people that are new to my channel, um, and if you don't know about my live stream, I live stream at twitch.tv forward slash 2 sick 2 siqq And uh, I do all my giveaways on my YouTube just because it's the most fairest way to to get everyone involved. If I do a, a giveaway on live stream, it, you know, I have some people are from the UK, so it, it's hard for them to, to view uh, when I play late at night. So uh, that's a little heads up for you know those of you that are new to the channel. And I want to thank you guys personally for uh, taking the time to stop by my channel because I haven't been super active. And for me to jump, you know, like 10 to 12 subs in like a couple of days is, is a huge number. And uh, thank you guys so much. And let you guys know as well, once I round out to 500, there'll be another giveaway. Um, and there should be another Twitch giveaway coming up pretty soon. Uh, the video is coming down to an end. If you like the video, make sure you hit the like button. Uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think and what uh, if you want to see some more MW3 gameplay because that's probably what I'm going to be playing. Um, but if you guys still want some Ghost gameplay, uh, leave a comment down below and I'll get you guys a boat. Um, other than that though, have a great rest of the day guys, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.